start away from victory yoga. Today we're doing a more intermediate, maybe advanced flow with some challenging. If you're a beginner, you can still um, enjoy, but maybe just make sure you respect your limit. And yeah, we'll just have fun here and enjoy the flow. Uh, we're going to start in a wild leg chair pose. So when you're ready, just open your knees and up, mark wide, give toes touching. And rest. You can stand, extend your forearms, your hands onto the floor, and forehead down. Just taking a few deep breaths in and out through your nose here and allow our mind to arrive here in the present. Allow our body to relax. And with the next breath in, we slowly start making our way to a kneeling position. So start walking your hands towards your knees. Keep your eyes closed if you can. Maybe draw the knees in to find a kneeling down position. Roll your shoulder back and down. Extend your spine top of the crown towards the sky. And we're going to bring both our palms into a prayer position, the thumb pressing against our heart. And if you would like to set an intention for today's practice, now is a good time to do it. Perhaps there's something you'd like to focus on today, or maybe there's something you need to let go. So whatever it is that you would like to set your intention, you can do it and start repeating it mentally a few times. And then once that is done, you can gently release your palms and open the eyes and make your way to your tabletop, our four, onto your mat. And then make sure that your knees are about hip width distance, hands are about shoulder width, and spread your fingers wide, either the middle of index finger parallel pointing towards the front. As we inhale, we're going to extend the right leg towards the back of our mat and flex our foot. We're going to extend the left arm, so the opposite arm towards the front. Now try to lift your heel a bit higher, flexing the foot, engaging your abs, so making sure you're not dropping the belly down. So try to bring your lower rib cage in, activating the core. Now from here, we're going to tag a curl, kind of bring the elbow and knees together as we bring your shoulder blades towards the sky, round in, maybe tuck your chin and extend back with the inhale. Now we try to move as slowly as possible and in control. So we do that twice more with your own breath, exhaling very slowly, elbows and knees together. And again, extend. And last round. Tuning, curving in, and we exhale, extend. Now stay into that position. You can either stay here. If you'd like, you can bend your knee and then bring your hand around and see if you can grab the top of your foot. You might want to have a little gaze back to find your foot. You can stay here or maybe start kicking gently that leg to open the front of your left chest, left shoulder, as you gaze forward. Can you kick a little bit higher, lifting the right knee? And again, we're going to slowly release the hand forward, the, knee, the foot back, and hold. Start feeling the strength building into your core. Can you try to bring your rib cage in a little bit more? Now from here, we're going to drop only the right knee down. We're going to open the right foot towards the outside of our mat and roll into our side plank, supported side plank. Find your balance here. Now, if you want it more challenging, you're more than welcome to lift your back foot, your left foot off the mat. Okay, and if you want to take it to another challenge, a little a bit more um, active, you might want to bend your knee and see again if you can grab the top of your foot and kick that leg back. Very good. We're going back into our side plank in control, releasing slowly. Dropping that foot down onto the floor, left foot down. Can you lift up onto your right knee? We're going up and over, left hand on top of your left leg and stretching the right side of your body. Perfect. So we're kind of leaning a little bit onto our left leg, just minimal weight. Can you bring your right shoulder back as you gaze up and activate your fingertips towards the left side? And we cartwheel our hands down, come back into our, our four. We're going to go straight towards the other side. So you guys stay facing the front. I'm just going to turn around to be facing you. We're going to kick the left foot and then you extend the opposite arm. And then we're going to tag your curl in, in control very slowly, dropping the, touching the elbow and the knee together and extending back. 
flexing the foot as we extend activate your fingertips towards the front and then we tag your curl in once more and extend back we got last round guys you go at your own pace take your time and extend remember to activate in your core bringing the rib cage in now either stay here if you want you can bend your left knee and then grab your top of your foot with your right hand and start kicking that hand that that knee that foot slowly against your hand maybe a little bit higher gazing forward and breathe We've got one more breath here slowly releasing the left foot and then extend one more time forward and back now release only the left knee onto the floor and find your supported side plank now, same principle here, you might want to keep the right foot onto the floor, maybe lifting it up, that you're going to fill it into your glutes, and then stay here for one breath, activating the core, and if you want, bend the right knee and grab the top of your foot with your hand. You should feel a nice stretch into the front of your, of your shoulder or your pec muscles. If you want to deepen, you can kick the leg a little bit more. Releasing into our side plank for one breath. Then releasing the right foot down onto the floor, we're going up and over onto our right leg and left, left hand goes towards the right side. And then now the stretch is really on the left side of your body. And one more breath. Before we cartwheel our hands back down into our tabletop, moving to a few cats and cows at your own breath here, dropping your belly down, opening your chest, gazing up and curling in. Navel towards your spine, shoulder blades towards the sky, chin to chest. And keep going here, a few cats and cow. Any kind of variation you want to take, guys, if you want to go into a quick chow pose or some rotation of your hips or your head. You've got two more breaths. And then from here, we got one more and with the last exhale, we're gonna tuck our toes and go into our downward dog. Take one deep breath in here. As we exhale, we're gonna bend our knees, look between our hands and start looking, taking a little step towards the front of our mat. We're gonna start moving to our floor, so find your halfway lift with your inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, release down. Make your way all the way up to standing. Reach high with your hands. And Surya Namaskara A, find your full forward. Halfway lift with the inhale. Plant your palms. Step back into your plank and hold. Pressing the heel towards the back of your mat, activating your core. We're going to make our way down in the count of five seconds. If you want to drop your knees onto the floor, you can. If not, just rock forward gently. And we're going down for five, four, three two and one release onto the floor baby cobra on tuck your toes lift your chest up roll the shoulders back squeeze the elbows behind your back and release again either baby cobra if you're ready for your upward dog press into your hands lift your chest up shoulders away from your ears hips off the floor and downward dog two deep breath in here if you want to start using your jai breath, you are more than welcome to do it at any time. And next, exhale, bend your knees, look between your hands, step or jump towards the front. Halfway lift and release. Making your way all the way up to standing, lifting high. And we're going down again, Uttanasana with the breath out. Halfway lift. Plant your palm step, jump or float back, moving to our floor, chaturanga, drop the knees if you want to, lower yourself down, upward dog, and at your own pace, we're going back into our downward dog for two breaths. Take one more deep breath, exhale, bend your knees, look between your hands, step, jump or float towards the front. Halfway lift and release. Make your way up to standing and find your Samasiti. 
Okay, from here we find a Suriana mascara A. Eh? So join your big toes touching when you're ready. Squeeze your knees in, find your chair pose, Uttakasana. And activating your core. Can you try to bring your rib cage in? So we try to lengthen our lower back, squeezing the knees in. Maybe rotate your pinky in as you soak your hips a bit lower. And breathe. One more breath. Can you go a little bit lower? Yes, Uttanasana release. Halfway lift. Step jump or flow back with your exhale. Chaturanga. And breathing in, upward dog. And Adho Venasana with the exhale for one breath. With the next inhale, we're going to raise the right leg up towards the sky. Find a hip yon by bending the right knee. If you want to go straight away into your wild thing, you're more than welcome to gently dropping the foot behind you in control, lifting your hips high as you reach your right hand towards the front, gazing forward. Can you lift your hips a bit higher? Bring your left shoulders away from your ears. Back into your three-legged dog, anyone, whether you're into a wild thing or hip yon, we're going to tag your curl in and find your warrior one. Drop your right foot onto the floor. Back foot is 45 degree angle as you lift up hips or square. Landing into your warrior one, roll your shoulders back, rib cage in. One breath in here. And with the exhale, we bring the hands down, moving to our floor. So we bring the right leg up towards the sky. Find your three-legged dog. And then maybe your plank or three-legged plank. Lower down your chaturanga. Upward dog. And downward dog. We're going to go straight away towards the other side. So the left leg is going to go up. And again, either hip yon by bending your left knee or finding the wild thing by dropping the foot down in control, reaching the left hand forward. Can you lift your hips a bit higher? Gaze forward. Release the left hand onto the floor, three-legged dog. One inhale, tag your curl in, drop the foot between your hands, find your warrior one again, onto the other side, lifting up. Can you bring your right hip forward, left hip back to square your hips? Can you extend the back leg completely and bring the outer edge of your foot into the floor to lift the inner arch? And then we release the hands down and find again, either our floor or straight into our downward dog. So three-legged dog, maybe plank or three-legged plank, chaturanga, upward dog, and downward dog. And taking a few deep breaths in here, enjoying. If you want to take a cleansing breath, take a deep breath in, and release to the mouth. Next, exhale, bend your knees, look between your hands. Step jump or float towards the front. Big toes touching, find your chair pose with the inhale, lifting up. And again, same principle. Make sure that your knees are not going further than your toes, that you're not into the pose. So try to bring your weight back. Can you bring your arms a bit closer to the sky? So instead of having them forward, bring them up and roll your pinky in. Release a bit lower and Sama City. Beautiful. Open your feet about hip foot distance, hands on each of your body, palms facing forward, close your eyes. Just taking a few deep breaths here in and out through the nose to reground and recenter before we start moving throughout flow. And then open your eyes and find the front of your mat. We're going to find our chair pose again. So bend your knees and sit back into your chair pose. Bring your rib cage in, activating your core. Enjoy and smile. We love chair pose. Beautiful. Bring your hands in front of your heart center. You're going to lift the left leg up. We're going into our figure four. So you can extend the right leg if you want as you do so. Flex your left foot and place it on top of your right knee. And sitting back into kind of a chair. But this time we're into our figure four. So can you lower yourself down a little bit more, activating the core, feeling the nice stretch into the left side of our, our hip. Keep your hands in front of your heart. Can you lift again? R left knee goes high. We're going to kick back to lean into our warrior one. So kick the leg back, dropping it in control. Back heel is flat. Lift your arms up. 
And then in readjust your feet if you need more space, if you didn't land exactly where you are, lifting, bringing the left hip forward, squaring your hips. Bring your hands behind your back. We're going to find a warrior, um, humble warrior. So lifting your chip as, as you exhale, bow forward, release the hands down. And then we're going to go back up with the inhale, raising the right, the both the hands up. Framing your right foot with your hands, the right leg is going to go up towards the sky. Now we're going to tag your curl, and bring your knee towards your chest. And we're going back up. Right knee to right elbow. With the exhale, rocking forward and going up. Right knee to left elbow. And going back up. And with the next exhale, we're dropping the foot between your hands and find your runner's lunge. So you might, have, you might want to have, if you want to use your blocks now, you're more than welcome to have your hands onto your blocks or fingertips or palm flat on the floor. So up to you here. We're going to go into our twist. So bring your left hand onto the floor. We're going to raise the right arm up, gazing up. And can you bring your right shoulder back? Lengthen your spine. Release down back heel is flat onto the floor. Find your half split. Shift your weight back onto your back knee. Extend the leg, the front leg. Maybe flex the, the foot. Now here, if you want to go into a little bit of movement, bring your fingertips onto the floor on the left side of your mat, so left hand, and bring your right hand all the way up and over you. Over you. So maybe I'll be facing you for this one. It'd be easier. To find a side stretch of the body, and then we're going to go towards the other side. So bring the fingertips onto the right side of your right leg and bring the left hand up and over. We do that on once more on each side. So sometimes it's easier to have blocks if you go, especially if you've got tight hamstring for this one. Blocks or book of, <laughs> of toilet paper roll, whatever you can put under your hands. Okay, coming back into your half split. We're going to shift forward into our Ujjayi Asana, so low lunge, dropping your hips low as we inhale, opening our chest, maybe gazing up. And then we release the hands down, tuck your back toes, lift your right leg back up towards the sky. Either find your downward dog or move through your floor. Rock forward, lower down, chaturanga. Upward dog and downward dog. Beautiful. Now from here, we're going to bend our knees, look between our hands, step, jump or float towards the front. Half we lift. And release. Straight away, big toes touching, chair pose. We're going to go towards the other side. So activating your core, sit onto your chair, extend the elbows completely, reach the fingertips towards the sky, maybe rotate your pinky in. Sit a bit lower as you smile more, bring your hands in front of your heart. Okay, when you're ready, this time the right knee is going to go towards your chest, so lift up, right knee up, flex your right foot, bring the ankle on top of your knee, and find your figure four. Okay, well done. And breathe, maybe start lower yourself down. And then from here, we're going to find our transition warrior one. So extend the left leg as you bring your right knee back up towards this chest. And we're kicking back, landing the foot 45 degree in control onto the floor, back heel flat, and then lift your arms up. And again, if you want to readjust, if you find yourself, you're, you're not, the front knee is not bent enough, you need more space, just walk your back foot a bit further. Humble the warrior with the exhale, bring your hands behind your back, inhaling, chest up, and release down. And breathe here for two deep breaths. Next inhale, we're going back up, hands up. We're going to frame a front foot with your exhale. Left leg is going to go up towards the sky. Three-legged dog. We're going to tag your curl in once first towards your chest. And moving slowly, going back up. Left knee to left elbow. And back up. And left knee to right elbow. And back up, very good. We find our runner's lunge with the next exhale, dropping the foot down. Between your hands, extend your spine. Finding your twist by bringing your right fingertips or palm onto the floor, left hand goes up. 
And twisting a little bit more as you bring your left shoulder back, reaching high with your left hand. Release your left hand onto the floor, back knee flat on the floor, half split. Untuck your toes, shift your weight back, toes towards you. And again, we're going to go into some side stretch, two on each side. So bring your left fingertips onto the floor, bring your right hand up and over to stretch the right side of your body. Going toward the other side. And just following your breath here, guys, going at your own pace. Again, some blocks under the fingertips can be helpful if you need them. And you do not have to go into those side stretch. If it doesn't feel right for you, that's totally fine. Once you finish, two on each side, we go into our low lunge. So bringing the, back, the front foot back onto the floor, drop your hips low, lift your chest up, hands up, Ujjayana Asana. Maybe try to gaze 45 degree, maybe a little bit higher if you want to go into a little back arch. And then release the hands down, move to your floor, left leg high, three-legged plank, vinyasa, chaturanga dandasana. Upward facing dog. And again, we're maintaining to Adho Mukha Svanasana. And breathe. Next, exhale, bend your knees, look between your hands, step, jump or float towards the front. Halfway lift with the inhale. Release down with the exhale. Make your way all the way up to standing, reaching high fingertips towards the sky. And Sama City. Big toes touching, find your chair pose, sit back. And squeeze the knees in, release a bit lower and smile. Yes, I can see you. Hands in front of your heart. We're going to left leg first. So left leg goes up, left knee up, extend the right leg, flex your foot, and find your figure four. Now, either you stay here or you want to lower yourself down. Maybe bring your hands onto the floor. Any kind, if you want to even have a little play with your hand balancing, flying pigeon, you're more than welcome to just have a little play here. So it's up to you guys if you want to stay here. We're going to do two deep breath or go into your arm balancing. And coming back up into your left knee towards our chest. We're landing into our warrior one, we're transitioning warrior three this time. So extend your fingertips towards the front, kick the left heel back for one inhale, and then warrior one. Adjust your feet if you need to. Humble the warrior with the exhale, hands behind your back. Chest up with the inhale, release down with the exhale. And then we're going back up. Breathing in. We're going to frame our front foot with our hands. Right leg goes up towards the sky. Tag your curl in once. Bring your knee towards your chest. Left knee, the right leg is going to go up and we bring the right knee to right elbow. If you want to lower yourself down as you open your leg to the, towards the side, you're more than welcome to do so. And then we're going back up. And right knee to left elbow. Maybe fallen triangle if you want. Lifting the left arm up, release down, and right leg goes back up. And then here we're going to find our hip yarn or wild thing again. So dropping the foot behind us, lifting our heart towards the sky, hips reaching forward. Transition from here to your side plank or supported side plank. And we find our runner's lunge. So it's up to you if you want to lift, maybe grab your big toes with your right hand and drop the foot forward into your runner's lunge. All right, starting feeling the heat here, guys. Extend your spine with the inhale, runner's lunge. Find your twist, left palm or left fingertip onto the floor, raise the right arm up. Beautiful, release the hand down, find your half split, drop your knee down, shift your weight back. One stretch on each side, fingertips onto the floor. It doesn't matter which side you go first. We just do one on each side. And release and shift your weight forward into your Ujjayana Asana. Whether you stay here or come into your high lunge by tucking your back toes, lifting your back knee, is your choice. And then we release the hands down and right leg goes up towards the sky. Moving to your floor, find your downward dog. Very good. 
And then from here, we're going to go straight towards the other side. So bend your knees, look between your hands, step, jump, or float towards the front. Half we lift. And release. Big toes touching, chair pose. And sit a little bit lower into your chair pose. Right knee goes up this time, flex your foot. Find your figure four with your right foot on top, right foot flex. Either staying here or again, guys, if you wanna lower yourself all the way down, fingertips on the floor or on blocks. If you wanna find a little hand balancing, bring your palms on it, flying pigeon is, is part of your practice. Hook your foot around your left tricep, maybe lifting your left foot up, extending the left leg. So up to you where you wanna take it. We've got one more breath, and then we're reaching high, hands up, transitioning to our warrior th three to get into our warrior one. So extending the left leg back, fingertip towards the front, activating your core. Slowly dropping the back foot down, lifting up with the inhale, adjust your feet, find your humble warrior with the exhale, hands behind your back. Lift up your chest, release the hands down, and fall forward. Reach all the way down, and then we inhale, we're going back up. Hands up. We're framing our front foot. Left leg's gonna go up into our tree like a dog. We're gonna move through our tag, your curls here. So the first one, you come towards your chest. And we're going back up. Left knee to left elbow. Either hold it here or find your flying split or any variation. And going back up, left knee to right elbow, maybe fallen triangle, dropping the foot down, lifting the right arm up. And then release down, left leg goes back up one more time, either finding your hip yawn or wild thing. For one inhale, transitioning to our side plank. And then we're gonna make our way to our left foot towards the front, Either way, if you want to drop your hand down or grab you, your big toe again and pulling your foot forward into your runner's lunge, this is your option. Inhaling, extend your spine, plant your right palm onto the floor, lift the left arm up. And then release the hand down, shift your weight back, lifting your left toes, one side stretch on each side, one hand, fingertips on the outside of your mat, reaching the other hand towards the side, and the other way around. Releasing down, forehead down. Ujjayi Asana, shift your weight forward, low lunge. And either staying here or tucking your back toes, lifting your back knee. And then we move through our flow, framing your front foot. Left leg goes high. And Vinyasa, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward dog and downward dog. Beautiful. Taking two deep breaths in here. And take another deep breath in as you exhale, bend your knees, look between your hands, step, jump, and float towards the front. Half we lift. Uttanasana with the exhale. Make your way all the way up to standing and reach hands in front of your heart. Big toes touching. Last one on the floor, going to go, going to go slightly faster. So when you're ready, chair pose with the inhale. Sitting back, lifting up. Hands in front of your heart center. Extend the left knee up towards your chest. And figure four with the exhale, releasing as low as you wish. As soon as you release, we lift back up, transitioning while you're three. Dive your hands forward as you kick your left leg back. And land into your warrior one. With the inhale, extend. Bring your hands behind your back. Humble warrior with the breath out, releasing. Hands away from your back. Coming all the way back up, lifting up. And release the hands onto the floor. Right leg's going to go up towards the sky, three-legged dog. Tag your curl in once, knee towards your chest. And back up. This time we're going into our runner's lunge, dropping the foot between your hands, and then we extend our spine with the inhale. Left palm onto the floor, raise the right arm up. 
and then release down, shift your weight back into your half split. From here, straight away, we're going back into our Ujjayini Asana low lunge. And flipping back into your half split. One more time. You're going to go up. And this time, either stay into your low lunge. If you want to tuck your toes, lift your back knee, maybe a little arch, crescent lunge. And release the hands down, move through your floor, right leg goes up. Downward dog or vinyasa. Just following your own breath, guys. We are going to meet into our downward dog. And then we're preparing for our last one. Bend your knees, look between your hands, step, jump, or float towards the front. Halfway lift. Release with the exhale. Big toes touching, find your chair pose. Lifting up. Hands in front of your heart. This time the right foot comes up. Figure four with the exhale. Lifting back up with the inhale. Transitioning warrior three. So kicking the right leg back as you dive your hands forward. And warrior one. Hands behind your back. If you start knowing where you're going from here, you can just go at your own pace. We're going to humble the warrior. And going back up. Hands up. And then framing the front foot with your hands. Left leg's going to go up. Tag your curl in one knee towards your chest. And back up. Runner's lunge with the exhale, dropping the foot down. Extend your spine. One twist, left hand goes up. And release. And the half split, release the knee down, shift your weight back. Rock forward into your low lunge. We're going to do that twice. And release back. And forward again. Either staying here, find a crescent lunge, lifting your heart up. And release the hands down. Vinyasa, left leg high. And downward dog or plank. Beautiful, guys. We're meeting to our downward dog again. And with the next exhale, we're going to bend our knees, look between our hands. We're going to make our way to a sitting pose. So either step or jump through. And find your sitting position onto your sacrum control, straight into our boat pose. So we want to have the legs, the lower leg parallel to the floor as possible. You might want to have your hands first in the inside of your knees to help you lift your chest up, roll your shoulders back. You can point your toes or flex, it doesn't matter, as long as we keep our back straight. Now, if that's not enough of a challenge for you today, release the hands, palms facing up. Keep your back upright. If you want it more challenging, extend your legs. Upper hat, bring your arms up. Now, whichever variation you want to take, it's up to you. I'm just going to stay here. Now, what we're going to be doing here, it's quite important that you don't cheat. I can't really see you quite small on my screen. But we're going to tuck our toes, uh, sorry, um, cross our legs. And we're going to bring our hands on each other of our hips. The feet are not touching the floor. We're just going to try to lift your sitting bones off the mat and back down. So the sitting bone might not lift, but it's the action of lifting that we want to practice. And back into our boat. And then we cross the other leg on top. Bring your hand on each side, feet not touching the floor. Lift the sitting bone. And down, back to boat. We do that once more on each side. Right, right on top, hands on each side of the sitting bone, lift, and down, back into your boat. Last round, left on top, sitting bones, lift, and down, back to boat. Doing great, guys. Extend the legs, find your sitting, shake the legs a little bit, knees left and right. Yeah, okay, we got one more round of these to do. I can, and I can hear you guys, you're so enthusiastic at home about that. Find your sacrum control again, find your boat pose. Now, if you had enough of boat pose, just lay down onto your back and rest. If you're happy to go, cross right leg on top, lift your sitting bones, and down. Left leg on top, and lift. And down, should start feeling it a little bit in two core, maybe even in your hip flexor, right on top. And lift. 
And left on top and lift. Back to boat. And then slowly with a count of five seconds, we lower down. So five, four, three, two, one. And release. Well done. Interlock your fingers. Bring your palms away from you. Stretch from the tip of your toes, hands over your head. Extend your body. Very good. And release. Maybe bring your knees towards your chest. Give yourself a hug. You do like circle your knees maybe or rock from left to right. And then we're going to drop the feet down onto the floor. Start moving to our bridge. So we're going to do bridge with movement today. So what we're doing is that as the our hips going to go up towards the sky, we're going to bring our hands up and over, and our hips reach the highest point as our hands reach for the floor over our head. So imagine that you are squeezing a block between your knees to activate the inner thigh. You can even take a block if you haven't placed it between your knees. As we inhale, start lifting your hips as you bring your hands up and over. The hips reach as high as possible as your hand goes over your head and coming down in control, releasing. Fabulous. We do that again, inhaling and exhaling. And got two more. You go at your own pace, guys. If you want to slow it down, go super slow. You're more than welcome as long as you follow your breath. I just want you to do two more. And last round. And we're going to meet into our supta. We've been joining the sole of our feet together, knees wide, reclined butterfly. You can have either your arms open, maybe interlocking your elbows over your head and relax here. Joining your, your knees together. We're gonna to find a second round of bridge. Now, if you wanna go into restorative bridge, grab a block or your book um, handy. And then as we're going to inhale, lift our hips, we place the block onto our lower back and extend our legs. Um, so we want to try to kind of stretch the hip flexor that we were kind of like working a lot on earlier. Um, if you want to go into more an active bridge, you're more than welcome to just go into a bridge, maybe interlocking your arms behind, rolling your shoulders under. And if you want to even go into your wheel, if you feel like your back is warm enough and you've got the wheel in your practice, you can press into your hands and open the chest. And just imagine whichever variation we are in, whether it's bridge or wheel, squeezing the inner thighs. If you're into your restorative, just enjoy and relax. And then slowly, everyone release down onto the floor. Bring your knees in. Maybe your forehead goes in as well. Tucking into a tiny ball. Relaxing the head down. We're gonna go into one inversion. So I'm gonna give you guys two options, but if you have any other inversion you wanna go in, um, again, it's your practice, you decide. So the first variation of inversion is gonna be, if you have a block, a cushion, um, anything at home that you can put under your lower back and just keep the legs extended, kind of like almost like 90 degree. If you've got tight hamstring, you can, you're more than welcome to have a bend into your knees and just having the legs up will bring like, will bring you a nice, relaxing inversion. If you have the shoulder stand into your practice, we're going to go into our shoulder stand. So we're going to start lifting our hips and bring our hands onto our lower back. And then lift your hips high as you walk your hand closer to your upper back and extend the legs towards the sky. Can you bring your rib cage in, bring your belly in, squeeze your, um, your glutes, squeeze the legs in, either point your toes or flex. Does that help? Whether you point or you flex, that just help activating uh, the entire legs. Squeeze it in a thigh. Now, if you are just with your legs up 
on the block. Just stay here and enjoy. You can have a play with your arms, maybe bring them over your head. Any kind of shoulder stand you are used to. If you um, are used to go with, without your hands, you are more than welcome to have a play here. And then slowly we're gonna release the hands and the feet over our head. Whether we wanna have the legs straight or if you've got tight hamstring again, you might wanna have a bend into your knees. Take two deep breath in here, and then we're gonna go into a plow pose by bending the knees as much as we can on each side of our ears. Keep the sitting bones high and breathe. And then very, very slowly start unrolling your back down to a laying down position. Take your time, one, one vertebrae by vertebrae. And control. And then when you're ready, just find your fish balls by joining your thumb and your index into a kind of a diamond shape onto your lower back. Extend the legs, roll your shoulders under as you open your chest and top of the crown onto the floor or on a block. And feeling the nice stretch into the front of your throat, maybe your pec, sometimes even like into the jaw. You might want to open your mouth, maybe a lion breath, if you are used to. Another deep breath in here. Then slowly release onto your back, bring your knees to your chest again. So we're going to extend the right leg and bend your left knee towards your chest. Squeeze the left knee in. Now we're gonna bring the right hand on the outside of your left knee and drop the leg towards your right side as you open your arm. Now you, you might wanna to gaze towards your left hand. If you wanna deepen that stretch, you might wanna bend the leg that is underneath to the right knee and see if you can grab the top of your foot with your left hand. Now this is not mandatory. This is just like an, an option, a variation of a twist for today's spinal twist. And we're closing the eyes and trying to let go a little bit more with each exhale. And then slowly releasing your left hand, the right foot. Come back into your normal spinal twist before coming back towards the center, knees to chest. Gonna go towards the other side, so keep your right knee towards your chest this time and extend the left leg down. Left hand goes onto the outside of your right knee and drop the right knee towards the left side as you open your right arm towards the right side of your mat. Whether you wanna stay here with your shoulder flat, both shoulders flat on the floor, or bending your left knee to grab the top of your foot with your right hand. Sometimes you do need to have a quick look down to find your foot. And then after you can gaze back towards your right side. Then slowly releasing the foot, the left foot first, open the right hand back. And then back towards the center, knees to chest. Maybe a quick happy baby or your variation of happy baby hips opener. Whether you grab the outside of your feet with your hands, knees bent, or if you grab, want to take index middle finger around your left, your, your, both your big toes, sorry, and extend the legs and go, go into a wide leg, happy baby. This is your option, your variation. You might want to rock left and right. And then find your Shavasana from here. But, Extending the legs wide, the back mat wide onto the floor. Scoop your pelvic floor, lower back touching the floor, hands on each side of your body, palms facing up. And then we're closing the eyes. And for the next few minutes, we're trying to invite stillness into our body.
Trying to stay present physically, but also mentally. Focusing on the movement of air in our body. Very slowly, guys, start bringing awareness back into your body. Move your fingers and your toes. It's more wrist or ankle rotation. Maybe move your head left and right. Join your palms together and interlock your fingers, bring your hands over your head, palms facing away from you and stretch from the tip of your toes to the tip of your fingers. And release and roll on to one side of your body. Doesn't matter if it's the left or right. Just stay here, stay here for two deep breaths. And then slowly make your way up to sitting, keeping the eyes closed, facing the front of your mat. Bring your back upright, shoulders are back down and relax. Bring your palms together and rub your palms together. To create heat in your hands. And place the palms onto your eyes. Open your eyes in darkness and start moving them around to receive the energy. Close your eyes again, palms back together in front of your heart. And gently bow your head down. And invite gratitude into your day, into your practice. Namaste. Thank you so much guys for joining, um, I really appreciate that you tune in, if you have any questions please let me know, ask your question, reach out to me, uh, if you like that video please um, subscribe and like and share, that would be really appreciated and yeah I hope to see you very soon, have a great day, bye bye.